Hello Christchurch. It's a great pleasure for me to be able to give an introductory talk to your meeting there today. Sorry I'm not able to come myself, but December is a very busy month here at the University of Auckland and particularly for me this year because of a major meeting that we are holding uh, beginning of next year that takes up a great deal of my time. So I do apologise for not being down there for this important event. It's really great that uh, now in Christchurch you um, will be able to have a tinnitus service down there and that's fantastic for the South Island. New Zealand has a strong history in tinnitus research and tinnitus clinical activity. This began really at the end of the 1970s with the discoveries of uh, Dr. Ron Goody, uh, Dr. Pamela Malding and Dr. Peter Thorne who while working at a pain clinic at Green Lane Hospital in Auckland discovered that patients given an intravenous drug for the management of pain often reported that their tinnitus also was reduced. Now while this discovery didn't lead to a clinical solution for tinnitus because the drug had short-term effect and also had significant side effects, it illustrates that tinnitus can be reduced and also illustrates the ability of New Zealanders to identify and then lead some world-class research. In the early 1980s, Ron Goody, an otologist here in Auckland, carried on this work and also established New Zealand's first tinnitus clinic, again at Green Lane Hospital. This clinic was based around otolaryngology practice, identifying hearing loss and hearing problems, and working with audiologists to identify the causes of tinnitus, and then if not medically treatable, to manage that with hearing aids and then the first maskers that were available worldwide. Now, in the intervening 30 or so years, we've learned a lot more about tinnitus. And in fact, the research has far more than doubled in the last 10 years alone. And it's very important to understand that Although research hasn't led to a cure for tinnitus, we are making incredible strides. And I'm sure you'll hear about some of these uh, discoveries from some of the other guest speakers there tonight. At the University of Auckland, we have primarily been working in the area of hearing-related rectification for tinnitus management, and also looking at the use of auditory training for tinnitus management. So these approaches make use of modern hearing aids and the powerful digital signal processing that they employ to try and deal with tinnitus on one hand but also reduce the audibility of tinnitus on the other. The other work that we've been doing has been the use of auditory training. So this is the use of computers with headphones and specific sound stimuli that have been characterized and customized for the person with tinnitus and employed in a game type of environment to try and train the person not to hear tinnitus or even to reduce tinnitus to something that is not meaningful and that can be easily ignored. The work that we've undertaken is just the beginning because there remains an awful lot of work to be done in the tinnitus field. But slowly we are seeing some of this work come in to clinical practice. And some of the hearing aid devices that are available today, the sound generators and other tinnitus treatments, have all come out of long-term research in the lab that have finally been able to be translated into clinical practice. So, at the moment, although we are making great strides in tinnitus research, there is no cure for tinnitus yet. However, 
there are very viable, strong methods for treating tinnitus and reducing it to a level where it really should not be bother, bothering anybody. And many of these treatments will be available from Katrin and the other clinicians that she'll be working with in Christchurch. It's great that Katrin's been able to come up and visit with us in Auckland to see our practice and to see some of our tinnitus clinicians in action. And I'm sure that we're going to be in close communication over the next few months and years as she builds her practice and begins to uh, see many more tinnitus patients than she has done in the past. It's also great that the University of Otago has such a strong tinnitus research group there. So the South Island is very well catered for in the tinnitus field. So once again, congratulations. I'm really pleased to see that a tinnitus clinic has been established in the, the South Island and for Christchurch. Look forward very much to hearing the successes and helping out develop this into something that is really excellent within the South Pacific. So well done. Again, apologies I'm not there tonight. Have a great evening and goodbye.